Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this video, we are gonna look into how I built this app, which is a note sharing app called Patra. What happens here is you can enter anything in Markdown. It will convert that into a link and you can use that link to see the content in a nice way. You can copy this and open it any, any anywhere in a browser. It will show the same content. Uh, that is because the URL itself will hold the content in a compressed way. Now, this is being used in this Swelt5 preview REPL where the home page looks like this. If you make any change here, it will generate a string after the hash. And this hash, so let's say let x equals webjet or something and I'll remove all this. Now, um, whatever code generated here, I can open it in any tab and it should give me the same thing. And uh, this is what we are going to implement. We'll not get into the entire code base, which you can always find here, but we'll look into the basic concepts of how to achieve this. Now, um, I have some samples here where you can enter uh, something here, let's say this, that will be put into the URL. And now if you take this URL and, you know, uh, enter, that will be filled with the same content. And this is quite easy. This is also useful in case uh, it's a, you know, uh, it's your e-commerce site and somebody enters the address and then they submit and something happens and they want to come back. And uh, if this is in the URL, that will always be there if they come to this URL. Now, it may not be very useful in this case because Svelte already has something called Snapshot, which uh, saves the snapshot of uh, the form entries uh, just before you submit. So that way it is, uh, you know, useless in this case, but you, know, you can still use it. But for some cases like, uh, okay, uh, let me show you uh, the same thing using hashes. Here, the things will be encoded. Yeah, something like this, this string. Uh, that also, if you put it into a new tab, it will enter the same things. Now, it may not be very useful in case of, uh, you know, uh, addresses because as I said, snapshot is there. But if you want something like uh, some app where users can interact and change something uh, and here it is a, uh, you know, um, color scheme that you can generate. So let's say I change it to something like this and it will reflect there. Um, so this is this is quite uh, useful in case in cases like this. So let's say I do this. This is a weird color scheme if I open it here and that will open you know the changed colors here so it's, it's very useful in these cases where you have an app where user interacts and makes some changes and um, you can track it in the url itself so if you want to connect it to the database when they save it maybe you can you know save this uh, string i don't know you, you can be creative with this all right so let's see how to do this so I have a basic Swelt Kit skeleton app, which has only one page. We'll start from here. What we want is an input and uh, we'll call this as maybe name. We will um, maybe on input, we'll add it to the you know uh, URL. So something like uh, handle. So I will create that function, and that gets an event. Now I can actually see the event here. I can see event, and the target is the input, and then its value. So it should give me whatever I enter here. So let's say I enter Ojara. So it is it is giving me that. Now I can directly add this to the hash window application dot hash. 
this is how you do it. Now what happens, whatever I enter, so let's say Shada, so it's been added here. And it's it's all good. But whenever you add some space or something, it will change that into a URA. So percent 20 is actually a space. So whenever we you know we want it back, it's uh, it may not be that easy to get it. I mean it is easy to get it because if you encode it to URA and then get it back. Uh, you can actually use that. So let me show you. Um, so let me have let name equals state. Um, uh, let it not be empty. So what I'll do is I'll get the page store import um, page from stores. Now page will also have uh, the hash so what i can do is um dollar page dot url dot hash and that hash actually will have the hashtag also this hash as well we'll have to remove that uh, let me show you what i mean so if i console log right you see that there is this hash attached to it so that that's the that's the one so it is showing the url hash but there is a hash attached to it so which i have to remove i'll do substring one so this will remove the first character so that should be enough now it is showing the proper thing uh, here what i can do is decode uri so which decodes the url so just do that um here also while putting it to hash i can encode it now i will destructure the event here to target and then destructure that into maybe name because we have input has a name and also value and this will be easier then uh, encode URI. so we are encoding and putting it to the URL. Nothing much changes uh, from our shared eyes. That's something like this. Now, so this is already there in the URL, but if you refresh, the same thing should come up here as well. Uh, it's not happening because I have to put the value here as And that's it we have it this is good for a string what if you have a you know object in that case you can use a similar method uh, what i would recommend is uh, json parse uh, json stringify first and then json parse later which which might work let me try that uh, i will have one more thing here name and then age uh, this will be something like mm, profile or something um okay this can't be here okay let it be string or maybe zero for now on input handle input okay um so here, what I will do is whenever things come here, profile of. Now what happens here is, you know, the profile will be updated. If I console the profile here and do not add the hash and also remove this. Now you can see uh, this is proxy because, you know, we are using state. Uh, age should be like something like 33, let's say and name is Jada. so in that case you know you get it here <clears throat> now that is great but that's not what we want what we want is a stringified value so what we'll do is instead of this we'll do here stringify and that should do it now what happens is uh, 
and I will have to. Oh, okay. So attach not the value, but the profile itself. So the entire profile will be. Let's say object is forty-five. So you see this, but if I refresh, it won't uh, persist. In order to make that happen, we again need a page. Uh, I will get the initial hash from the page variable page dot URL dot hash. And also we have to remove the first character as we did before. Now this is the hash by console.log initial hash. We may not get anything useful. Okay, so value. Uh, let me not have any value things here. All right, I, I got it here. So uh, if I refresh, I should get the same thing. Yeah. Now from that, uh, we have to get uh, get the value. So let me see if I can do JSON parse here. It may not be valid. Let's see. Not really. Uh, the reason being, it has, um, you know, you have to do decode URI, I think, first. And uh, yeah, um, then you have to JSON about parse. See, things can fail here. Uh, in many cases, it will. So, what I can do here is initial hash dot or maybe with a question mark because it may be undefined and here h. now i can put the value here in quotes profile uh, dot i think profile will always have agent name <clears throat> now it will fill it and yeah there can be some weird issues so let me see and this is the reason i i don't use this method because since you are using json parse it can go wrong in many places a better way would be like you know using base 64 so what i can do here is um json stringify is fine instead of uh, encode URI, I can use P2A. So binary to um, base64, uh, if you have ASCII characters, it will do it. And while here, I can do A to B, it does the same thing. And here, decode URI may not be required in this case, because since they are characters, uh, strings, I don't think it will be required. Remove this. Uh, undefined for now since initial hash is not there so what I'll do is if nothing or this the undefined will go away now I'll have object I'll have 21 now you see this uh, code here so if I refresh I should get back the same values I'm getting the initial hash but uh, I'm not getting them. Okay, so I'll have to parse again. JSON parse this. Uh, if this is not there, parse something like this. Or parse uh, uh, parse this. Maybe it'll convert that into an obje object. I'm, I'm hoping. Yeah, now it should work, but yeah, I am using or here and it, it started working. Okay, so if I change it to uh, 40, 
Hit refresh. It stays. So uh, this is this is how you do it. I mean, you can uh, you can actually gzip this. Uh, they have uh, done it here. So even if the if you have multiple components and this code goes longer, uh, it will not grow exponentially. It will grow, but it will not grow exponentially. They have been very smart about it. Uh, Patra also uses something like um, LZ compression. So even if uh, things like this, uh, let's say I copy this and yeah. So if I keep on doing this, since they are repeated, I have like thousand characters here and the link only has half as much 516 characters. And if I see it, I mean, it should still show it. Since they are, they are repeated, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna compress that way. So yeah, this can be useful in case, you know, you, you don't want to go through the session store or, or local storage or something, you know, just uh, put everything in the link and people can uh, share it uh, anywhere they want. There is no database or anything required. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.